Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Shadow Lady here, and welcome to the Base Invaders Challenge. Today's contestants are Scott, Smallish Beans, Mythical Sausage, and me, LD Shadow Lady. Here's how it works. Each of us builds a base full of puzzles, traps, and secrets, and we hide our own skulls somewhere inside. Then we take it in turns to invade those bases and try to retrieve the skulls from within before the five minute time limit runs out. But before we can invade any bases, we need to build the bases. So I started by marking out a shape and building up the walls, and then my game crashed. Anyway, I want to make this base look like a pink fairy cottage, so I'm using lots of crimson wood and the new cherry blossom planks. But it was looking a little too Barbie's dream house, so I had to change the roof and make it a little more quirky, add a little tower, then I did go a little bit crazy with all the texturing of the walls and the roof, before adding some dark oak details, and voila! The fairy cottage base is complete. Well, not complete. If I just plopped my skull right in there, they'd find it in about 10 seconds. So, we need to fill this place with some sneaky secrets, red herrings, and maybe even some devious obstacles. But first, I will assume a new identity. One that matches my base, that of the devious and cunning fairy Lizzie. And this is my home. And as a mischievous fairy, I want to confuse and mislead my visitors before they even enter my base with some pink petals. Now, if you saw a trail of pink petals, would you follow it? Because I probably would. And I'm hoping that my friends will do the same. But this is, in fact, completely pointless. There's nothing over here. Except for a little fairy circle. I am a fairy after all. Now the outside of my base is complete, we can start working on the interior. So let's just put a little wall in here with an iron door, and this will be the access to the basement, where Fairy Lizzie keeps skull. Very simple. But how do you open this iron door? Well, that is a secret that only Fairy Lizzie knows, for I am going to decorate this entire place, and hidden around here somewhere will be a secret that unlocks the basement door. My goal here is to add as many random things as possible to really distract any visitors before they can figure out how to open the door. So here's my little egg collection, and here are my bookshelves. I love these things. And how about some paintings? Paintings are always suspicious. You never know if there's a secret door hiding behind them. Ah! What was that? What the heck? Oh my god, it hatched! <laughs> no, you're supposed to be for decorative purposes only! Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Okay, come on out of here. Get out of here, you little scamp. Oh. Off you go. You're somebody else's problem now. Goodbye. Okay, that should be enough distractions for now. That should definitely keep them occupied looking around. I've added in a few red herrings to lead them astray. This painting over here can actually be jumped through, and hidden behind it is a barrel with a music disc. So I'm hoping this will distract them and they'll try and play it over in the jukebox, only to find nothing happens. But just because I'm feeling nice, I am going to leave them a real clue. Here is a note I'm going to hide that says, note to self, green book opens door. You know, because I'm so forgetful, I had to write it down. And I'm going to hide it right here, because this is actually a barrel. Now, as the note suggests, the green book opens the door. Well, what green book, you may be asking? This green book. But now to make this work, I just need to do some redstone. <laughs> Two hours later. Here we go. And the door is open. Okay, I've done it. All this stupid redstone and it finally works. Now I can just close this wall and I never have to think about it again. What the? Just go away already. Okay, he's just part of the scenery now. And on the topic of annoying creatures, there is something I wanted to add to my fairy cottage. I thought it would be fun to add a load of frogs, but I'm going to name them after my friends. Ta-da! It's kind of like Fairy Lizzie turned all of her friends into frogs. <laughs> there. Now let's get out of here and into the basement.
And as we descend down into the basement, things will get a little bit different. Down here, there's mangrove. One of the more sinister types of wood planks I could find, because now things stop being cute and things get serious. What was that? Hello? What was that? I'm stuck in my basement, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh! What is that? I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know it could get so big. I kind of love him. Wow. Okay, you have a special place in my heart now. You're allowed to stay. Come on, you can hide around here in the back. You are the secret surprise in the fairy circle. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, big evil, scary basement down here. And this is where things get sinister. And by sinister, I mean puzzles. That's the kind of fairy I am the puzzle fairy. And here is my first puzzle. We have some levers and some flower pots with a selection of plants in them. Now, they will need to select a lever before they can open the door. And here is a clue which cannot be bone mealed to make it grow bigger. If you don't know the answer, shame on you. The answer is cactus. So that will open the door where I'll have another puzzle for them. And this time we're going to have a load of mob heads on display. All the players have to do is figure out which levers to press to open the next door. So we have a goat, rabbit, panda, zombie pigman, Mushroom, Llama, Glow Squid, and a bee. And the clue for solving this puzzle is going to be behind this glass. Ta-da! The lever is down for the polar bear, but up for the sheep. And if you haven't guessed it by now already, some of these mobs will attack you. Just like the polar bear, flick the lever down for the ones that fight back. So goats can attack. Pandas can also attack. Zombified piglin, definitely attack. Llamas can spit at you. And I have definitely been stung by a bee before. And that opens the door. Which leads us to our final challenge. And this time, they get a choice. This way, parkour gods only route. And this one is for little baby parkour. Brackets cringe. So they will have to make a very difficult choice. And I we'll have to build two parkour courses. So let's start with the god parkour. For research, I went onto MCC Island and I ran around the parkour dojo looking for all the trickiest parkour obstacles. Then I added them to my parkour course. So now this bad boy has everything. Allow me to demonstrate. We start with swinging from a vine. There's some honey parkour. Then a little cheeky jump onto this trap door. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> I'm making this look really easy. I'm just so good at parkour. I definitely didn't practice this a thousand times. Oh. <clears throat> oh, green. It's all gone horribly wrong. Well, hopefully they are better at parkour than I am because they're going to have to deal with plenty of tricky obstacles like jumping on skulls, candles, this crystal parkour where you need to do a wiggle in the air until they will finally reach my skull. But now I need to build the little baby parkour for any of them that are too scared to attempt this parkour. If they decide to take this route, it's going to take them all the way down. But I'm going to make this look not very scary at all. So for this, I'm going to use lots of wool because it's nice and soft and I'm going to replace the floor with slime so they don't hurt themselves when they fall. Now we just need to build the easiest parkour you could ever imagine. They might have taken the easy route, but I didn't say it was the quick route. In fact, I'm even gonna make it go down again at some points. And we finally reach the top after all this unnecessarily easy parkour. Whoa! Let's give it a quick go just to make sure it's as easy as I think it is. Yes. Even if you run this at full speed, it takes forever to get to the top. 
Ta-da! I'm not sure how long that took, but it felt like an eternity. And it leads to the same place as the other parkour. So that is how to retrieve the skull from my fairy cottage base. But now it's time for me to raid the other bases to steal their skulls. So let's take a look at what everyone built. The first base. Reveal it! Ta-da! Oh! Whoa! That's cute! Don't go ahead. No, 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 come back, come back. Oh, come back. oh sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. It's Fox. Fox. It's Fox. Fox. Okay, next one, next one. Reveal. Go. Oh. What? Oh. The Avengers, Avengers Tower! tower. Ba -ba 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 okay, my next. Show it! Bam! Ta-da! What? Oh, this is what? so cute! Oh, <laughs> that is pretty! Cute. It's so different from Joel's. <laughs> oh, it's my turn, let's go! All Show right, it! Okay. okay. Reveal! Ooh. Wow! Here it is! What a lovely selection of bases. Now we take in turns to invade all the bases. Ah! Oh my god! Who did it? What I was that it. for? Who, was, who did that? First, I'll be running through Sausage's base, this beautiful building where his skull is hidden somewhere inside. So, let's start the timer, and I'm running in. Should I check these barrels? Sometimes Sausage does leave things in barrels. It's kind of his signature move, but these all seem empty. I think I'm wasting my time. Let's just go through the front door. Welcome to the Sausage Tower. Find my head to win. Yes, that is the idea. Should I wear that armor? It's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put it on. This might be illegal, but I've done it now. <gasps> Bubbles! Oh no, his chests are full of random stuff. It's just like real life. Okay, somewhere in here, his head is hiding. Amongst all these random chests full of stuff. Oh no, there are so many barrels. This place is full of barrels. Okay, I've just gotta check everything. I have no idea where this head could be. Would he be so foolish as to leave it in one of these chests? Really? I don't know what he uses for decoration and what's for storage. I've spent this whole time just searching barrels. Oh, there's a bell! Wait, who is this? It's Bloomin' Steve! It's a decoy! Dang it. Oh, is that a lever? I'll take that, just in case. I think I'm supposed to get up higher. <gasps> Wait a second. Maybe I can go through the roof? No. <laughs> Don't be silly, that's foolish. Uh, All I've found so far is a bunch of random stuff. <gasps> Wait, I didn't see this before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was a staircase right here this whole time and I just didn't see it. I'm so stupid. I need glasses. I definitely need glasses. You need a lever. Well, I have a lever. I've had it this whole time. Oh, honey, a honey maze. How infuriating. Oh, I hate this. Squishy noises. Ah! Okay. So that was embarrassing, I will admit. Let's see if I have more luck with Scott's adorable base. I will start the timer now. A door. I need to find a way to open the door. I think I left that spare key at the fire. Fire. I do hear a fire, but I don't see a key near the fire at all. Did you leave your key by the fire? Is there a secret passageway here or something? Oh. That is extremely well hidden. Good for you, Mr. Fox. Get me in this door. I messed. Get me in this door. <gasps> What's this? No! I was meant to jump over that. Gotta get over this jump. <laughs> okay, I can't make this jump. Why can't I jump very good? How the heck am I meant to do this jump? Oh! Okay, I can't get down the corridor. Oh no! <laughs> Tragedy has struck. This corridor is making a mockery of me. I wasn't expecting that. Hello, good sir. What's this? A saddle and a fishing rod. Oh no. The carrots are outside. I saw them on the way in. I can't go through this again. There has to be another way. Wait, maybe he'll just accidentally wander in the right direction. Come on, boy. 
You can do it. I believe in you. Just walk through the gap. Come on. Don't make me go and get a carrot. <gasps> he was about to. He was about to. Wait, check this out. <gasps> Genius! I'm gonna die! I've... Okay, close, 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 close. No, no! Come back! Come back, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just let me do that. No, come on! Oh, you stupid pig. No! God! I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, this is my final attempt to not embarrass myself. Let's take on Joel's Avengers Tower. So, the timer starts now. Hello, young sir. Nick Fury? So you think you're an ultimate Avenger, eh? Well, let's see if you can pass the test. Head to the stairs behind me to take on the challenge, okay? <laughs> that sounds easy. Am I an ultimate Avenger now? I've done stairs. Whoa, these are really... Excuse me? Where did I just go? Hulk level? Oh, what's this? Oh, I got, I got a hoe. If you're better than Hulk, smash your way to the exit. <gasps> yes. This is so satisfying. Oh, maybe it's over here? Actually, I hate this now. Yeah, the exit. Oh, okay. You think you're better than Hawkeye? Shoot all the aliens. Where are the aliens? No. Not the sheep. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh gosh. Oh, you think you can travel like Thor? Use Mjolnir to get through. Is this Mjolnir? Mjolnir? Wow! This is so fun! I'm flying into the sun! Okay, not flying. I'm flying into the sun! Whee! Wow. Cool! Oh, what's this? Shield yourself! Oh! Oh, jeez! Captain America! Where, where's my shield? Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! oh. Okay. Let's... Let me through! Excuse me! No, not today, Hydra agents. Oh no, is this the way? I don't, is this the exit? <gasps> What's this? Are you as nimble as Black Widow? I sure am. Check me out. Okay, I'm actually surprising myself right now. Whoa, I'm too good. Who's next? Iron Man. Okay, I forgot to put the wings on. <gasps> oh no. I'm so stupid. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is a lot further than I realized. Okay, I just made it. Did I get the job? Fly to the top of the building. Yes! My first and only skull. I'm an Avenger now. So, I only got one skull. But make sure you check out everyone else's videos to see how well they did.